over 700 medical studies sustaining these benefits. Not only are average people benefiting from the power of Ganoderma lucida, even trusted medical professionals like Dr. Watts are challenging the traditional ways they approach medical treatment of their patients by prescribing Ganolucederma. My initial thoughts about the natural herb Ganoderma lucidum, uh, I thought it was a joke. The biggest surprise for me when I tried Gano myself was I started believing in natural herbal medicine. It was a drastic shift in my thinking in medicine. The results that I uh, witnessed in a patient that I did start it on was a 12-year-old girl who I had previously six months before diagnosed with type 1 diabetes which is meaning that she's having to use insulin on a daily basis several times a day. After four months of continuing with the supplement with the Ganoderma lucidum, this patient went from a type 1 diabetic, which, went, which is injecting herself on a daily basis with insulin, to actually a type 2 diabetic in which her diabetes is controlled by medication, by oral medications, it's unheard of for a type 1 diabetic to go to a type 2 diabetic in just that short time frame. I mean, it's unheard of, period. I think for more than five years because my old doctor never told me that I was diabetic. And uh, as a result of which, my uh, left foot, I developed what is called neuropathy. And neuropathy is the hardening of the veins. Uh, my left foot became twice the size of my right foot. The color was reddish violet. I, be, I was in constant pain. I couldn't uh, put my shoes and uh, most of the time I had to use my cane. A friend of mine by the name of Rick De Luca, who is connected with the Ganoderma, uh, saw me one day and uh, he told me about the uh, Ganoderma and offered me, as a matter of fact, he gave me a box of oatmeal. Um, I went to my doctor and told her about uh, this and she told me not to believe it because as far as she was concerned, she didn't believe in uh, anything that was herbal. Uh, but because I was in constant pain, I decided to try it anyway. So lo and behold, after a month and a half, uh, I, I noticed that my foot started getting better. Uh, I had to go and see my doctor again because I do my regular blood test. And she asked me, she says, what, are you, what have you been doing? I said, why doctor? He says, well, how come your sugar has gone down and all your other organs, there's been a tre tremendous improvement. I said, I haven't done anything except that I've been taking the oatmeal that uh, you told me not to take. And she says, oh, is that so? Well, he says, I'd like to do a more extensive test. I want you to con continue taking, at this time I was taking the chocolate. Uh, he says, I want you to continue taking this and I'm, I want to give you an extensive test after two, two months. And I want to find out if there's been, your other organs have been affected by this. But to make a long story short, after two months, which was just about the month and a half ago, uh, I got my test and uh, the report said that everything, my sugar from 180, 190, it was down to 106. My liver has been improved. All my organs were perfect and she was amazed. And uh, I now, my left foot uh, is, is the same size as my right foot. I'm no longer, uh, the color of my left foot is, is normal. I can use shoes. I have a lot of energy. I also had uh, what they called the uh, liver uh, spots on my, on my hand. These were spots that usually old people have. Remember, I'm 86 years old. They're all gone, completely gone. My skin has been, uh, has improved, I've color. Another thing, and people tease me about this, my hair has gotten darker. So that's my story, and boy, am I so happy. I have so much energy, you have no idea. Hi, my name is Dexter. Before I started taking Gano, I was a physical wreck. 
I was involved in two major accidents, one in 1974 and one in 1987. The first one required surgery to remove L4 and 5, two herniated discs. In 1987, I was rear-ended, herniated C3, and after going to the Cleveland Clinic and seeing one of the top neurosurgeons in the country, it was determined that it was inoperable and there was nothing they could do to alleviate the pain, and they told me that I should just live with it, try to manage the pain. So ever since 1974, I've been <clears throat> trying to manage the pain in my back. It's been a deteriorating condition. In 2002, I found out that I also had type 2 diabetes. When they found out that I had that, my glucose, glucose level was 305 when they tested. I also had high blood pressure. And so I, they began treating me for um, the diabetes and the high blood pressure. And it was later discovered that I had congestive heart failure and arrhythmia. I had a pacemaker in, put in in 2005. And the doctors also th thought that I might need a angiogram because I had tremendous chest pains. I couldn't go more than a half a block without stopping to rest for five or ten minutes before I could go further. I used a cane 99% of the time, and, and the other part of the time I had to use a walker just to get from one place to another. Um, the doctors wanted to do an angiogram, but my, they found out that my liver and my kidney function was so bad, they said that if they injected the dye to do the angiogram, it would completely kill my kidneys and I'd wind up on dialysis the rest of my life. So obviously I didn't do that procedure. I've, I've suffered with pain and, and the, this chronic condition for years. In December of 2008, I was living in Texas, had been for about four years, and because of my condition, I decided to move back to Indiana where my family and friends were because I thought two things were going to happen. One is that I'd be confined to a wheelchair or the other thing is I would literally die. I didn't expect to be here today as a matter of fact. So I moved up here in December, the first part of December of 08 and uh, I tried to exist as it were and I, I literally suffered since uh, from December uh, up until at least August or so. And, and in August, my son had heard that I was taking um, a lot of oxycodone. Um, that was the pain medication I was on, and I'd take between 20 and sometimes 80 milligrams of oxycodone in a day. He said that amount of oxycodone would kill me. But I told him I had to have something to manage the pain. I, I couldn't exist you know, the way I was going without some kind of a pain medication. Well, he had been um, that, that Gano would probably help alleviate some of the pain. Now, I couldn't figure out how reishi mushroom or any kind of mushroom would do anything to make me feel any better, but after a couple of months he bugged me until I finally said, okay, look, I'll buy the stuff, I'll try it. And I did. Uh, I started taking Gano coffee. My regular routine was to drink two cups of coffee every morning. So I exchanged the Folgers for Gano. And after the first cup, a couple of cups that I took, uh, the first day that I, I drank the Gano, I noticed that I was more focused, alert, and had more energy. So I took, I took it the next day and the next day, and after the third day, I noticed that I, I didn't feel the pain that I had felt 
before. As a matter of fact, I decided I'm not going to take any pain medication today and see what happens. And I went through the whole day without taking one pain pill, which, you know, was a first. I had, I've been taking pain pills since 1974. That's the only way I could exist. And so I didn't take one single pain pill. And about 10.30, 11 o'clock, is, I decided I needed to go to bed. I hadn't slept in a bed for like five years. I couldn't lay down. It killed me to lay down. I was in more pain laying down than sitting up, so I used to sleep in a recliner, if you could call it sleep. I'd doze off periodically. I'd be up and down out of there all night long, but at least that's how I got my rest. But I tried. I said, I'm going to try, see what happens. And I laid down, and to my surprise, it didn't bother me. And I slept through the night. <laughs> and I woke up the next morning, and I felt great. I never took another pain pill since that day. I haven't taken one pain pill. I haven't taken a muscle relaxer. I haven't taken a nerve medication. And I feel better right now than I have for t in, in the last 10 years. And uh, I haven't used a cane, haven't used a walker. I, I, I feel great. And I, I look back now and I, I think, you know what? Gano has literally changed my life. And I feel great. A year ago, I'd never heard of Ganoderma lucidum, and after nine months, I can hardly even pronounce it, but it's done some incredible things in my body, and I'm very, very excited about it. I have more energy than I've had in years. I've lost weight to the extent that I can wear clothes that I haven't been able to wear in seven or eight years. I didn't change my exercise or my eating habits, only started taking the Ganoderma lucidum. I've had age spots on the back of my hands and on my face. For years, <clears throat> they've gone now. I'm able to sleep through the night peacefully, and I haven't been able to do that for a long, long time. People come up all the time and ask me what I'm doing to my hair because it's both darker and thicker, and I have pictures from a year and a half ago that document that my hair is thicker and it's darker. I had a skin lesion on the side of my nose. It's completely gone. It was a dry, scaly patch on my toenails they were discolored they were brown and I thought they were stained from my shoes but apparently it was a fungus because it's gone also I have a cyst on my left hand that's smaller and softer and appears to be going away on my right hand I had a herpes infection that is completely gone after 30 years but the most amazing change to me is my eyesight uh, in March, which is three months ago, I was able to put away my prescription glasses and I simply don't need them anymore. I also use readers on the computer and the magnification on the readers. I've been able to reduce it from 2.0 to 1.75 to 